When it comes to Mexican food in the USA, it is difficult to narrow down your options. The crispy tacos, huge burritos, spicy enchiladas, spongy tamales, any Mexican dish is a meal in itself. And a very yummy one too. Is your mouth watering right now too? Here are 10 of the best places for Mexican food in the United States. Thank us later. Barrio Cafe, Phoenix. Barrio Cafe is the vision of chef Silvana Salcido Esparza and Wendy Gruby. Ever since it opened in 2002, for Chef Silvana, Barrio Cafe is home. She prides herself on bringing the best Mexican flavors to the restaurant by featuring dishes from different regions of Mexico. Chef Silvana manages to put just the right twist on popular Mexican dishes. Her table-side guacamole is sprinkled with pomegranate, which has been touted as one of the best guacs in the city. A signature dish is conchonita pibble, a slow-roasted pork dish with a hit of citrus served alongside Yucatan-style pico de gallo. You can also try chiles and nogada, a colorful dish from Puebla featuring stuffed chilies in cream sauce or a cheese fondue from Oaxaca. The cafe is very popular and has even been nominated for multiple James Beard Awards. Cosme, New York City Cosme is not only one of the best Mexican restaurants in the USA, but also one of the best in the world. That's right, Cosme currently ranks 22nd in the list of the world's 50 best restaurants, higher than any other restaurant in the country. Opened in 2014, the restaurant was the idea of Enrique Alvera, who wanted to bring authentic Mexican flavors and textures to New York. For nearly seven years, the Cosme Kitchen was run by Daniela Soto Inez, the youngest person to be named World's Best Female Chef. Gustav Garnica is the current chef who brings only the freshest locally available produce to the table. Ever since it opened, the restaurant has become a popular choice for Mexican food. It also received a three-star review from the New York Times. The signature dish of the restaurant is the duck carnitas, which is cured with spices and Mexican coke for days before being served with blue corn tortilla. Other noteworthy dishes are dense but crispy octopus tostadas, potato tatalas, mole, and a range of cocktails and margaritas. Finish your meal with a very Instagrammable corn husk miran that practically melts in your mouth. Galagetza, Los Angeles Ever since Galagetza was started in 1994, by immigrant couple Fernando Lopez and Maria Monterubio. They wanted to specialize in Oaxican cuisine through their best family recipes from the region. Most Mexican restaurants in Los Angeles at the time didn't focus on just one region, and Lopez, too, was laughed at for the idea of a specifically Oaxican restaurant. Thankfully, he didn't listen to anybody, and today, Galagetza is sort of an institution in LA. Set in Koreatown, the restaurant is named after the Mexican festival. It makes some of the best moles in the country. Some of the traditional dishes on the menu include fried pork ribs, tamales wrapped in banana leaves, black bean enchiladas, crispy fried taquitos stuffed with chicken picadillo, and seafood stew. In 2015, Galagetza became the first Mexican restaurant to win a James Beard America's Classics Award, an honor presented to restaurants that have been running for at least 10 years while reflecting their local communities. The owners have also opened an online store where they sell their special mole sauce and michelada mix. Fonda San Miguel, Austin Located in Austin, Fonda San Miguel's menu is influenced by the Mexican states of Oaxaca, Puebla, Yucatan, and Veracruz. Started in 1975, this prowling hacienda-style restaurant is worth visiting for an authentic Mexican brunch in the surrounding that transports you to stylish restaurant in Mexico. Some of the signature dishes are Veracruz-style fish, chicken and mole sauce, ancho rellano, San Miguel, and a pollo and mole poblano. The Sunday spread changes every week and the selection of cocktails is excellent. La Taqueria San Francisco The Mission Burrito, an iconic part of San Francisco, is the signature dish of La Taqueria. This eatery has been serving burritos, tacos, and quesadillas for more than 40 years and is an inseparable part of Mission Street where it is situated. 
Touted as one of San Francisco's best Mexican restaurants, there is still some debate over the famed Mission's style burrito, which is a burrito without the rice. You might complain about a burrito with no rice, but you won't be complaining as you bite into the huge burritos filled with beans, cheese, salsa, and a variety of meats like carne, pollo, asado, carnitas, and chorizo. This might not be the traditional burrito, but it is also why this eatery is so attractive. Its popularity makes for very crowded weekends, so be prepared to wait in line if you want one of those mission-style burritos. El Chero Cafe Tucson El Chero Cafe in Tucson, Arizona has a history that dates a century back. The cafe started in 1922 and is the oldest running Mexican restaurant in the country and is still run by the same family. Today, it has three locations around Tucson open all days of the week and serving some of the best Mexican dishes. The original owner, Monica Film, invested the chimachanga here, which she accidentally dropped a beef taco in the frying pan. She almost cussed out loud the word beginning which but at the last moment blurted out chimichanga, which is now one of the most popular Mexican dishes. The cafe still serves chimichangas along with other Mexican dishes like tacos, fajitas, enchiladas, tamales, and burritos. Another signature dish is the steak tampicana. You can enjoy a hearty meal along with some strong margaritas in this homey cafe. El Chero Cafe was voted as the best Mexican restaurant in Tucson nine years in a row. La Super Rica Taqueria Santa Barbara La Super Rica Taqueria serves some of the best tacos in America. And if you don't believe us, maybe you'll believe one of the best cooks of America. This eatery has earned a seal of approval from none other than Julia Child herself. She singled out this joint as one of her favorite Mexican places to eat. And while she may be a master in French cooking, we know she was quite homey at heart. You will often find a long line outside La Super Rica, and that is a good indication of how good their food must be. At the end of the line, you will be treated to scrumptious tacos, tamales, and other Mexican items. It is famous for its fish tacos, and the Super Rica is special tacos made with marinated pork, roasted chilies, and melted cheese. No Palito, San Francisco. In a small village in the coastal city of Catamaco, Gonzalo Guzman first learned to cook from his mother. Working in the fields and learning to grow vegetables to prepare meals for his family helped him develop an interest in Mexican cooking. After coming to San Francisco and many years and many restaurants later, in 2009, chef Gonzalo Guzman, along with his future partners, turned a dream into reality with Napolito, a restaurant that combines traditional Mexican cuisine with the local ingredients of the Bay Area. The restaurant is a hotspot for Mexican food and has found a fan in Guy Fieri. The dishes include a torta de chilorio, a hot pork chorizo sandwich with a bread soaked in sauce, de mole poblano con pollo, a braised chicken and mole sauce, de nopales, and carnitas. The food at Nopalito is not just delicious but also really affordable. The dishes range between $10 to $30, which makes it all the more appealing. South Philly Barbacoa, Philadelphia You may not have visited South Philly Barbacoa, but you surely might have heard of it. The inspirational story of immigrant chef Christina Martina struggling to find work to send money home was featured on Netflix's Chef's Table, Bon Appetit, and more. When she couldn't find a job, she started cooking and selling batches of barbacoa from her apartment. The dish soon became extremely popular with Martinez, having to expand her business to a place now iconic as the South Philly Barbacoa. The signature dish of the restaurant is, of course, barbacoa. Lamb cooked in a pit for hours, seasoned in a citrus marinade, by the time in preparation reached as the customer, the meat is so tender that it practically melts in your mouth. The rest of the menu is small but delicious, featuring tacos, tamales, quesadillas, and consume. The place is open to the public only three days a week from Friday through Sunday, but the early bird gets the worm. Lines stretch across the street, so be sure to arrive early and hungry for one of the best Mexican meals of your life. Hugo's Mexican-born chef Hugo Ortega worked around quite a bit in the Houston restaurant scene. Before opening Hugo's with his restaurateur wife, Tracy Vaught, Ortega was a finalist for the James Beard Foundation Outstanding Chef Award, and the restaurant has been named one of the best by many critics. Set in an old 1925 Art Deco building, the restaurant serves authentic Mexican cuisine that has been lauded by many. One of the signature dishes of the restaurant is the lamb barbacoa. 
Other dishes you can try are the braised duck or the pan sauteed grasshoppers if you are an adventurous eater. For dessert, the dulce de leche stuffed churros, the Mexican hot chocolate, and the house-made chocolate ice cream are worth trying. So, which Mexican place is your favorite? Do you know of any other places that we missed in the list? Tell us in the comments.